holidaying on a private island in the Caribbean or staying at a luxury safari lodge in the Masai Mara is no longer the ultimate indulgence. Space holidays are on their way to becoming more accessible. And who knows, your super boss could be taking one soon. European company EOS6 Space will launch commercial flights to the stratosphere from Abu Dhabi as early as next year. Passengers will be flown in a plush pressurized capsule that will be lifted by a non-polluting helium balloon and rise to a staggering 130,000 feet from where they can save a view of the Earth's curvature. The journey will involve a two-hour ascent, another two hours of cruising at altitude and a one-hour descent. A trip with EOSX will set you back by about Rs 1.3 crore. But if you're willing to wait until 2026, Arizona headquartered Worldview will do it for about 42 lakh. Worldview plans to launch its flights from iconic locations across the world. The company claims its first flight, scheduled for later this year from the Grand Canyon, is already sold out. USX and Worldview are among a new bunch of near space tourism startups that are readying pressurized capsules and gigantic gas balloons to lift the wealthy high above the rest of us. These companies offer alternatives to rocket ship journeys such as those delivered by Elon Musk's SpaceX and suborbital flights offered by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. Stage separation confirmed. And recognition. Dragon, separation confirmed. Space tourism has seen a fair bit of action in the last three years as many as 50 tourists have been transported to space. Both Bezos and Branson themselves traveled to space in July 2021. U.S. space businessman Gokri Totokura became the first Indian space tourist when he took part in the Blue Origin NS-25 suborbital spaceflight mission in May. He says that the experience was literally out of this world. It's looking back down um, at uh, Mother Earth and realizing the beauty of this majestic uh, blue ball and trying to take it all in. Uh, I know a lot of people um, have expressed that, you know, previous astronauts have expressed that, you know, this experience has changed my life and people have gone to the ISS and etc. So I was very looking forward to seeing what this changed my life really is. What it did give me is it gave me purpose uh, to why we do what we do um, every day. I think that's what uh, was more impactful than, than the actual trip itself, if, if that makes sense. There is a difference between balloon drives to space and suborbital and orbital flights, which can cost anywhere between Rs 4 crore and Rs 200 crore. Orbital space tourism involves passengers spending several days in space, orbiting the Earth, and may include time at the International Space Station. Suborbital flights, on the other hand, are often brief journeys, which, besides providing astounding views of Earth, offer a few minutes of weightlessness. Space balloon companies operate in the stratosphere, the second layer of the Earth's atmosphere that extends between 30,000 to 160,000 feet above the Earth's surface. But, besides being a bit cheaper, the companies say that they are also zero emission and convenient. Anyone fit enough to board a plane can sign up for the trip. There's no need for extensive physical training. Some space balloon startups like Zafalto are further elevating the experience with fancy food. The French startup promises to offer a completely personalized experience, including Michelin star meals at about 85,000 feet for a piece 1.6 crore in 2025. Its Celeste capsule was built by Airbus engineers in partnership with the CNES, the French National Space Agency, and the European Space Agency. Zafalto's founder, Vincent Faray Diasti, an aerospace engineer, says he sees prices going south in the next decade or so. You, you can make the, the, the parallel with the beginning of aviation. At the very beginning, it's for wealthy people, and little by little, the, the price can come down. And uh, whereas aviation was really something that had a, a big carbon impact, uh, our balloons will be, um, with default development, is really low carbon. Bookings have also commenced for space travel agency Space VIP's end 2025 voyage, which will see participants dining at the edge of space. Space VIP has tied up 
with Michelin starred Danish chef Rasmus Monk for a six hour Epicurean experience at 100,000 feet above sea level. What you get for a piece 4.2 crore is dinner with a spectacular view of sunrise over the Earth's curvature and a plush capsule with Wi Fi. Thank you.